country ready, yo, up. This is Daisy on the beat. Yeah. Uh, what it do, world? Top billion. I got my man DZ on the beat. And right now, you listening to the first song and uh, first single from the album is uh, A Rapper That's Real. That's one of my favorite songs from the album. Uh, it's the first song that you're going to hear on the album, and it's also the first song to be released to the public like that. It's a uh, music video we shot it on christmas day two days it was actually a two-day shoot we shot it on christmas day and then two days after christmas we kept shooting it it's the uh, first video i shot with the new video camera i bought as a christmas present to myself shout out to young Nodi for helping me direct it you know if you look if you look at that video you know there's a lot of collaboration between me and him when it comes to uh you know how he's flipping the camera and where sh and the shots that we're at and all different stuff like that. Uh, I was living in Minnesota at the time and uh, when DZ sent me all the beats, that was one of the first beats I heard and that was one of them that I really, really liked. And I, uh, that's, and I knew that one was a hit, but I didn't want to write to it at first. So I wanted to get into the zone, you know? So that was one of the third or fourth songs that I actually wrote for the album. And I remember it was a hot summer day up there in Minnesota. I had just got off from work and uh, I went up to the attic where I was living at the time and uh, I played the beat and I was just feeling it. And you know, the idea of a rapper that's real, I wrote the song thinking, okay, what separates me from all these other artists out here, all these other people that say they're real and you know, they're game affiliated and they're hard and they're all this other shit, what separates me from that? And uh, I thought, well, I'm a rapper that's real, you know? Like, I'm not just a guy who gets on the mic and just starts talking about whatever. Like, I'm actually giving you my heart and soul on these tracks. So I feel like that's what separates me. You know, at the end of the song, I say, you got two kind of people out there. You got people saying words that rhyme, and then you got people saying real shit. And, you know, that's what separates me from everybody else. So yeah, a rapper that's real. I stay down, I do my thing. I'll be around until I get 11 rings. I stay down, I do my thing. I'ma be around until I get Track number two. Bill Russell, I really like this song. Uh, this song's like one of my favorites, man. That beat, that beat is a banger. That beat is a real banger. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Bill Russell, you know, the NBA player who's won more championships than any other player in the league is actually from uh, West Monroe, Louisiana. And, uh, you know, he played, he played for the Boston Celtics. He's in the Hall of Fame, a legend in the game. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't give him his uh, due credit, you know. Uh, people in Monroe definitely don't know that he's from here. Uh, and I don't even think in Boston they even built a statue for Mr. Russell yet. So I feel like writing a song dedicated to his memory, to, to his legacy, would be great. Uh, the song is really... Sonically, the song is really inspired by uh, Young Jeezy. Like, uh, if you listen to the, uh, you know, his albums like Thug Motivation One on One, or or uh, his new album, I think the first songs on his albums usually start with, you know, sound effects of an audience clapping, and you know, it sounds like people cheering in the crowd, like like Jeezy's, like some type of like superstar walking into the arena and everybody goes crazy. So. When the, when the chorus comes in on that song, you hear that build up and then you hear the audience go wild, you know, like like you're at a sports arena, like I'm like I'm Bill Russell and he's walking out on the court or something like that, you know what I mean? So the song has a lot of energy, it's built up like that. It could have been the intro song, but I felt like a rapper that's real was a better intro song. Uh, I want to do a music video for that song. I'm just waiting to get my jersey. I gotta rock the jersey. You know? 
number 11, I think. Number 11, or six, I'm not sure. But yeah, Bill Russell, it's one of my favorite songs. I ain't not slapping backwards, I'm shooting threes mo. Not trying to hustle backwards, I want my cheese ho. How's all my goals?